Hey guys, we got this uh, 2021 Jeep Wrangler that a viewer got a hold of us about, and uh, he was having some CAN bus issues where after you drive for about half an hour, vehicle would start acting up, and you know all the CAN bus problems where electrical would just go haywire. He'd lose his power steering, the wipers would come on, all those kind of symptoms, right? And lots of lights on the dash. Lots of lights on the dash. Probably says no bus on the instrument cluster. And uh, so what we sort of discussed and talked to him about was while the issues were present to go to the star connector that's located in behind the glove box, which looks like this, and unplug those one at a time, one by one. And once you unplug whatever one it is, the issues go away. So he had found out that this one here with a purple with a white tracer and then a yellow wire was the connector, which is connector C10. And that wiring harness actually led to the transmission. So he uh, ended up going to the transmission, taking a look and found out that there was actually a spot in the harness where it had rubbed through, or we're, we're pretty sure it rubbed through. It kind of looks a little burnt also, but, um, We'll get a picture of roughly where that is. You can see a bit of chafing by the looks of things there. We were thinking it maybe rubbed on this uh, little dowel or whatever that's sticking out there. It's a little tricky to see. But uh, you can see the part of the harness was underneath that tin foil section, which is a, sort of a heat deterrent um, tape. And here's the wires here. It was actually, the issue was in the can low wire which is yellow can low is yellow and violet with a white tracer is can high and uh, you can see there it was probably shorted out it might even be borderline open circuit at that point but uh, it was enough to take down the network and cause all those problems so it's crazy how one wire can just take down a whole vehicle but that's the way these things are so um he was pretty good about it obviously it, he did all the work himself, so props to him for doing that. He's in Austria, Austria and we're in Canada, so. That was pretty cool to uh, talk to somebody and, you know, try to give them some pointers and help them out as far as here's how, what you should check and, and kind of how to go about it. But uh, yeah, he went on the hunt himself and found that problem and fixed it himself and was super happy, you know, got that fixed up. So just thought I would share this experience with you guys. And uh, like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.